Today I'll be showing you how to properly scale your cosplay helmet so that you get the perfect fit every time, even if you have big hair like me. So before you start printing, there's gonna be two things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a tape measure and some cosplay calipers. You can do the old school way of just wrapping a tape measure around your head, making sure to get a really tight fit and then take that, make sure your tape measure is locked and then read that. It looks like mine is sitting right at a 22. The second method is downloading these cosplay calipers from Thingiverse. These are from Uncle Jesse. So if you just type in his name on Thingiverse, these should come up. But what you'll do is you'll make sure these are lined up. If you don't have the nut and bolt and you'll wanna just get right near your temples. Now I have that, I'm going to go ahead and take my cosplay calipers and set them down very gently. Okay, now that I have my cosplay calipers at the exact measurement of my temple, I'm gonna take this tape measure and I'm just gonna pull it out and make sure to exactly measure right at that end point there. Now that we're done with our measurements, we're gonna go ahead and head over to Thingiverse to find a file that I absolutely love working with that's a foolproof way to get the perfect sized helmet. You're gonna head over to this page, Sizing Heads by Budwin. I got this link from an amazing creator and he has a full length video exactly on how to do this as well that I'll have linked in the description below. In the summary, you'll see all of these heads and the exact measurements, which is why we needed to take those. I know my head is gonna be a head two. So right here, the circumference being about 22.4. And if you have a place like lids or somewhere around that can size your uh, head for a hat, it would be seven and one eight for you. So what you'll do is you'll go to the files here and you'll just download head two. Now that we have our head here in Kira, we're not going to scale it or anything we are gonna go ahead and pick a helmet. Now that we have our helmet here in Cura, we're gonna go ahead and slide this over, put it there, and it looks like it's clipping here. Before you do anything, make sure you uncheck drop model. So what you'll do is you'll just move it up until you don't see any more clipping. So it looks like on this ears here, we have some clipping and on this side here, and it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. So this is already scaled to 100. What I'm going to do is make sure to have uniform scaling on, and I'm just gonna scale it just a bit. So I'm gonna scale it to right about there. But what we're gonna do is just to make sure this helmet is oriented right, we are going to just make some very slight adjustments. So it's still clipping there. As you can see, like we don't have clipping on this side, but we have clipping on this side, but we also need the back of the helmet. So let's say you get a helmet file like this where there's a couple of different pieces, right? Let's find the back of the helmet. All right, so now that we have the back of the helmet here in Kira, you would think you would be able to take both pieces and kind of scale it to, to figure out where exactly it needs to go to make sure that it fits properly. However, in Cura, you can't really combine the file. Here's an easier way, a more accurate way of making sure that everything fits properly. We're gonna go ahead and head over to Mesh Mixer and combine this file. Okay, now we have both files here in Mesh Mixer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two files and we're gonna hit edit and we're gonna hit combine. And what this is gonna do is combine the two files together. All right, so now this is all one piece. So we can click on transform and now you can see it moves in unison together. From there, we'll export it. We're gonna go ahead and take this STL file back over to Cura. Now that we're back in Cura, we're gonna go ahead and take the file that we combined in Mesh Mixer and load it in. Gonna move that over, unclick Drop Model, bring this up so it's not clipping. Move this forward a bit. 
and we're going to notice where the head is versus where our helmet is. So we want that really centered there. And boom, looks like we have a perfect fit. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider dropping a like and subscribe. And if you have your own tips and tricks, comment down below. See you guys in the next one.